You know, there's a, a little live action Dungeons and Dragons movie coming that I'm actually uh, really uh, quite excited about. But as it turns out, Dungeons and Dragons is not just going to live on the big screen. According to a report and deadline, they have now directly ordered to series a Dungeons and Dragons television series. That is a live action television series being written. And I guess the, the first episode is going to be directed by Ross and Marshall Thurber, who is, of course, the director of the number one Netflix film of all time, uh, Red Notice, which is also a giant piece of crap, a terrible movie. Sorry, Ryan, but it's, <laughs> that one's a bad movie. That, that one's a bad movie. But anyway, it is the number one Netflix film of all time. And, and he's going to be doing this thing. Now, I... This is the next thing that Paramount Plus is the next game adaptation. Because, of course, they've got Halo on there, and it did very well for them as far as their uh, ratings went. They got a good chunk of viewership for it. This one is not a video game per se, although there are Dungeons & Dragons video games you can play. I'm looking at you, ColecoVision. But there are there are Dungeons & Dragons games you can play. Uh, but, of course, D&D is the classic, great tabletop game. I mean... Are you kids today, get off the console for a minute, get together with some friends with some dice and paper and play a real role-playing game. Joe Manganiello just got a brand new custom-made table. Oh, I, I know. I, have you seen his Dungeons & Dragons dungeon? Oh, yeah. House? Like, it's the entire basement of his house is just one big Insane. Dungeons & Dragons there. Guys, you got you to gotta play some Dungeons & Dragons. You'll never ever stop playing once you do. At I any keep rate. begging Tom to get on Joe Manganiello's D&D team. I mean, not just any, just like specifically. Anne could probably one. get him on. Let's do it. Anne, Ma make that one, happen. Anne's the one who brought uh, Joe and Kyle to Hasbro for the first time. She brought them into Hasbro and gave them a tour of, of uh, you know, where they do all that kind of I stuff. I want to be besties with Sophia. So, <laughs> Anne, make it happen for my husband. That's we'll my We'll see end. what we can do. So, anyway, I, I like this idea. Now, look, I have the same trepidation that I do with anything. Dungeons and Dragons can automatically be very schlocky. But when you look at what um, Vox Machina just did, which was corny in all the absolute perfect ways. Like it actually, I'm watching Vox Machina and I'm like, this is what it feels like playing a D&D game. This is what how people talk and this is what you do. And the trailers for the new show look fantastic or the new movie, I think look really fun. And I was really worried about that movie. And I, I still am a little bit. But I am very, very excited for that uh, movie. So, you know what? Look, I I'm not the biggest fan of Ross and Marshall Thurber, to be honest with you. But he's had success, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be cautiously optimistic about mm. this series. Rob, what do you think about it? Well, I mean, look, it it's expensive. Whenever I hear yep. someone's gonna take on a giant fantasy property, it's like, look, I I'm all for it, and I I go into all of these things wanting them to be great, but doing you know, we're getting a lot of fantasy shows, both in animation and live action. It's hard to do them well. It is. And I think, I think, like you just pointed out, it's the tone that's the most important thing because you don't want to push it too far into the goofy factor. And the fact is, when you have fantasy shows that are very serious, like the, 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 the gold standard, which would be Game of Thrones and now House of the Dragon, and then there's some, like, sort of Shannara or whatever's in between all that stuff, you got to figure out what's your show like? What is it going to be? So I think the important thing for a Dungeons & Dragons show, like you pointed out, is the tone. What are they going for? Because it's got to be, fantasy has to be both kick-ass and fun. Yeah. But not stupid. Right. Yep. I.e. the first Dungeons & Dragons movie. Yeah. Which was just stupid. Just stupid. And, and kept anybody away for a long, long time of trying to get that going again. And, and I don't know. I hope the movie's good. Anyway, Aaron... Like, I, I am curious, does something like a Dungeons and Dragons series have any appeal to you? What do you think about this? It has so much appeal to me, which I know is shocking to hear. But here's why. I have been hearing about this stupid game my entire <laughs> marriage, my entire friendship with you, invitations to come and play. And I'm like, no, this is it. And, and, and Tom, you know, being like, oh, I don't know if I have time for two fantasy football leagues and a Dungeons and Dragons club or whatever you call it. I don't get it. And I feel like the best way for me to get it is not to invest in the game because um, I, Tom does a terrible, as you have seen firsthand, he does a terrible job of explaining how to play a game <laughs> as we learned when we tried to play that stupid yeah, Jaws yeah, board he, game he, that he got me for Christmas. I love playing 
I love playing games with Tom, but he is not the best at explaining the game. I will give you that. (laughs) So I refuse to play Dungeons and Dragons with him. And if I watch this show, I will at least be able to go, okay, let me learn what this is all about. And then it might pique my interest to play the game. I will say this regarding the show itself. Um, I am excited because um, I'm not f- totally familiar with the this gentleman that we've been talking about. Um, good for him that he's doing things with Netflix. It's not totally his fault that Red Notice was not, you know, better for whatever reasons. However, Todd Lieberman. Oh, Joey Bishop's <laughs> wandering around, ready to pee on your floor. Sorry. Uh, Todd Lieberman is one of the producers of this movie. And Todd Lieberman actually produced my first ABC series, Detroit 187, many, many years ago. But he also produced things that you guys may have actually heard heard of such as uh the fighter um he also produced the proposal with sandra bullocks he produced wild hogs which was very specific but very funny he also produced the muppets movie he is an academy uh and emmy award-winning producer and with todd lieberman behind this project that's the name that actually gets me really excited about it because this guy he's a hit maker and i feel like with his expertise and his ability to put all the puzzle pieces together, he's going to get Joe Manganiello at least in that brainstorming session, if not starring in it in some way. He's going to get the people who really understand the game and love the game, and they're the people that are going to tell the story. So I'm excited about that. If they don't get Joe Manganiello in this, it's a total missed opportunity. Oh. Totally. Because the guy's a walking barbarian, right? So, I yeah. mean, and he's like, nobody knows D&D better than him. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Paramount Plus has ordered straight to series a eight episode first season of a Dungeons and Dragons show. By the way, uh, no indication that's connected in any way with the movie itself. So it's not a continuation of the movie. So who knows? Do you like the idea? Not like the idea? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this video. Helix Sleep. Guys, let me tell you, just a couple of days ago, Ann and I received our Helix mattress, and it is the best mattress we have ever slept on in our entire lives. We had like this $3,000 specialized mattress that we got like five, six years ago, and we liked it very much, but this one completely outdoes it. It's night and day. And you can get matched with your perfect mattress too. See, Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just like a minute to complete, and it matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for somebody else? With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way that you sleep. I hopped online, took the Helix quiz, and Anna and I were matched with the perfect mattress for us. And it is so easy to set up. Simply take it out of the box, get it positioned on your mattress, take off the plastic, and then give it an hour or two to breathe to reach its full size, and you will not believe how comfortable this thing is. All you got to do is go to helixsleep.com slash campia take their 60 second sleep quiz and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life and it's risk-free they have a 10-year warranty and you get to try it out for a hundred nights they'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it but you will helix even has financing options and flexible payment plans so a great night's sleep is never far away and here's the best part helix is offering up to 200 dollars off of all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helix helixsleep.com slash campia. 